So Jabra just released the Elite 4, which is the best of both worlds. It mixes the qualities and budget of the Elite 3, as well as some of the features of the Elite 7 Actus. And today we'll see how well it blends the two together. This is the sound of the Jabra Elite 4 Active Microphone in a quiet environment. My voice should be clear and understandable. Currently sold at 119 and you can find it in colors of black, navy, and mint green, which is sold exclusively at jobber.com. These are also dust and waterproof rated at IP57, so you can take these to the beach and you shouldn't have to worry about getting them wet or dropping them in the sand. The new Elite 4 seems to be a chimera, pulling from bits and pieces from previous Jabra models. It has a new design language where it's very small and unobtrusive, but the case looks a lot like your 85Ts, your 75Ts. And of course, it looks strikingly like the new Jabra Elite 7 Active. It comes in a very moderately sized case, bigger than the Elite 3s, smaller than the 85T, 75T case. Overall, it should fit in most pockets. The Elite 4 is light and gently rests within your ears. I haven't had any feeling of a cabin pressure sensation, and overall it doesn't budge even through the most intense workouts or just lying down watching TikTok on the couch. The controls are the Jabra standard. The right earbud plays all the multimedia controls. The left earbud cycles through your active noise canceling, passive noise canceling, and hear through slash transparency mode. And you can customize the control layout depending on your preference. So one issue that I had was I found that the buttons were a little bit stiff. I had to make sure I was pressing hard directly within the center of the earbud. It seems to be easier now, but still not as easy as it would be with any of the other Jabra models. Depending on how often you use active noise canceling and transparency mode, you should get anywhere from seven to eight and a half hours. The case has two additional charges, so you should get around 28 to 30 hours in total. The case does not have wireless charging, but is charged with USB-C. The Jabra Elite 4 Active does have access to the Jabra Sound Plus app, but it's not as robust like the Elite 7 Pro or Active or the 85T, 75Ts. It's more like the Elite 3s. So you have your basic, switch out between active noise canceling, you can adjust your side tone for your phone calls or your transparency mode, and of course you can change your button control layout. Jabra claims that the Elite 4 Active has multi-device Bluetooth pairing, but I'm not experiencing that. I can't go back and forth between two or more devices. I have to disconnect one before I can use it on another. So I don't know if that will come in a future update, but that's very disappointing that I still have to wait to get a complete product. But on the positive side of connectivity, you can use either of these earbuds independently. For the price, Jabra Elite 4 Actives are a great option. They do have a lot of the features found in more pricier models at an affordable price like the Elite 3. If you're someone coming from the Jabra Elite 85T, 75T, 65T, the price and features of these might be worth it. It will also be worth it to subscribe to see my comparison of the Elite 4 Active with the Elite 7 Active coming soon.